The following is a BA TV production made with the equipment that is available to residents of our cable viewing area. To learn more about television production and the equipment that is available to you, please visit www.mybatv.com. Hello, Batavia. I'm Anna Cahill, and you're watching It's News to Me. Today's episode will be a short but sweet one. In last week's game, the Batavia Bulldogs beat the Geneva Vikings 40-29. Everyone in Batavia was ecstatic as this was an important game, which leads to our Player of the Week, passing it off to the coach. We'll start out with Offensive Scout, our JV Players of the Week. Uh, two people come to mind. Uh, actually, uh, both probably for practice and JV game as well. Uh, one young man got off to kind of a tough start in our scrimmage this year, but has rebounded extremely well, has played solid in our JV games, has done everything we've asked of him in practice, and has really led our offensive line to great performances in both games. Uh, first offensive uh, JV Scout Player of the Week, uh, Tuz. Tuz Alino, where are you at? Yeah. There you go, buddy. Thanks. Congratulations. Pound it. There you go. And our, <clears throat> our second player of the week, is a player near and dear to my heart. I, uh, I've decided after he wins this award, I'm gonna be a lot tougher on him in practice because I'm very nice to him now all the time. And I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be so nice in the future. So you better get ready. Um, our other award winner with his big game against the uh, Vikings, that number 20, who I think was the same girl that played against you, Peyton, in that one uh, summer uh, that one, <laughs> when we were over at Glenbard South. I think she transferred over to Geneva. Anyhow, uh, Peyton Piron, PP. Two guys that really, really stood out in this JV game. All you guys did great on there. We beat that team up north. We schooled them. But uh, when you put a highlight reel out and you get a sack, I have to give it to Zim. Come on up, Zim. The other guy that did a great, great job, that put tons of pressure, had a great game, Johnny Wall. Come on up. All right, uh, special team award uh, is pretty easy this week. He was seven for seven on all extra point attempts. Kicked off eight times. Um, we got another, uh, when we, we popped it up, it was a perfect placement yet again. He might get a penalty for wearing uh, earrings in a game. Don't ever take your helmet off during the game, because you will. Howie. Good job, buddy. The uh, vaunted Geneva passing game was virtually shut down. Um, and one might consider given to Michael Moffat, but uh, he was impressive enough they didn't even throw your way, so I'm not going to give you anything. Uh, a couple of times. Um, we played a rookie at safety. He did a pretty nice job there, but uh, there's one guy that actually played both corner and safety. And when I'm sitting in my little corner of a dark room watching film, I just keep playing the one film over and over and over and over again. And so, uh, yeah, don't, don't get too excited about that. Um, Hit of the week, player of the week, Forrest Gilbertson. Congratulations. Uh, another guy, fellas, that's getting a game ball though this week that we could probably give one to again every week, uh, similar to our quarterback. I think just those guys are just that consistent in how they play. Anthony Scacia had a huge game again, uh, both in the passing game and, of course, running the football. Uh, huge game for us and really got us going offensively. So uh, game ball to Skash. Congratulations, buddy. Well deserved. It's for your helmet. Good job. Speaking of Batavia High, homecoming is right around the corner. The city is filled with emotion, whether students are nervous or excited. It's nonetheless filled with lots of energy. We talked to Joanne Smith about homecoming. You're on stage, Joanne. Hi, I'm Joanne Smith. I'm here to talk about the homecoming events at Batavia High School for next week. On Monday evening, they'll have Class Olympics, and that's a time for the students to get together, show their pride, show their spirit, but also um, participate in some fun events. On Wednesday evening is the homecoming parade. The route has changed a little bit since last year. We will begin on the Wilson Street side of the high school, head down Wilson to Lincoln, Lincoln to Maine, and end up back on the Main Street side of Batavia High School. 
There are many of athletic events throughout the week, but on Friday will be the football game here at the high school. The sophomore game starts at 5 and the varsity starts at 7.30. Parking will be limited, so please try to arrive early. The students also have a theme for each class. The seniors are going to dress like the 80s, the juniors are going to dress like the 60s, the sophomores are going to dress like the 50s, and the freshmen have the 70s. In addition, there are themes for each day of the week. On Monday, students at the high school will dress in their class t-shirts. On Tuesday, they will wear an athletic jersey. On Wednesday, they will dress like their theme. On Thursday, class colors. And on Friday, Bulldog Pride Day, where we'll all wear our red and gold and show our pride. We hope to see you at the homecoming events and have a great week. Aside from the buzz going around school, Batavia Park District has some incredible plans as well. We talked to Brittany Bogue on what the Park District has to offer. Let's hear it, Brittany. Hi, I'm Brittany Bogue with the Batavia Park District and we're here at the Blackard Skate and Bike Park located on 411 South River Street. Show off your skills at the skateboard competition this Saturday, September 21st. There will be prizes from All Spoked Up, Pal Joey's, and local skate shops. Enjoy concessions from Nate Dogs as well. Registration starts at 10 a.m. and the competition begins at noon. Advanced registration is $10 or $15 day of competition. There are several categories to compete in, such as beginners, intermediate, expert, and best trick. For more information on this awesome event, please call 630-879-5235. Moms, we have a special night planned for you and your son ages 3 through 12 on Thursday, September 26 at Mom and Son Wagon Rides. This event will be held from 5.30 to 7 at West Main Community Park. The evening will feature wagon rides and s'mores around a campfire. There will also be a storyteller telling stories around the campfire. Wagon rides begin at 6 from the parking lot. The cost is $10 for residents, $12 for Batavia non-residents, and $13 for non-residents. The price is per person and pre-registration is required. To register or for more information, please call 630-879-5235 or visit bataviapark.org. Thanks and hope to see you there. And don't forget, the 2013 Art in Your Eye Festival in Batavia is happening this weekend. There will be art to see, art to try, and art to buy. Batavia sure has been busy lately. I'm sure there will be more stories to find in the City of Energy, so stay tuned. And remember to check out BATV on Facebook and check us out online at www.mybatv.com. I'm Anna Cahill and that's news to me. Hey, that's news to me!